Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. I hope you're rested. I hope you are feeling good today. <laughs> I hope you're well. Uh, we're going to look today at Meghan Markle. Is she going to become a talk show host? Will she replace Ellen? And will she be the next Oprah? That's what we're going to look at today. Don't think that this couldn't happen. <laughs> Don't think it couldn't happen. Is it on the cards? We're going to look at it today. We're going to investigate. We're going to do an investigation. Okay, let it be known. If you have a question for a future video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. Big thanks. Big shout out to those that do. See you in the comments, Team Famous Fortunes. In any event, let's let's have a look and see what's on the cards. Will Meghan Markle become a talk show host? I find it interesting that this it, it, Ellen is retiring, or let's say she will no longer have a show uh, at the end of this year. So it seems that she's had her run. I'm not. Sure, I don't know much more about it than that. So if you do, let it be known in the comments. But it is interesting timing. From many different perspectives, but the number one perspective that we're looking at today is, you know, Meghan Markle going to have her own talk show. Ho uh, talk show? Is she going to become a talk show host? You know, Oprah Winfrey was an incredibly successful talk show host for many, many, many years, and that is, you know, let's say one of her closest friends. Let's, I don't know if that's true, but <laughs> is uh, maybe eyeing off that path ahead. Let's find out. Have I read on this before this episode? I have not. So let's. We'll get, it's going to be news to me what what befalls us today on the cards. This is Meghan Markle lining up to become a talk show host. If we get a flat no, then I have no idea where this episode's going to go. <laughs> so let that be known. Cards are hot. All right. Let's find out. The world. Okay. Page of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. And lastly, the Ten of Swords. Underlying energy here. Eight of cups two eights interesting interesting well you know i have to say there's a couple of there's a couple of interesting cards and then there's a um, cards then a couple of in, very interesting cards for opposite reasons so the world and the eight of pentacles this scene this says to me that there there is energy there's a desire around there's working on something that is going to have worldwide a worldwide audience is being worked on here so there is something in the works it's being worked on now it is going to be a world thing that people are going to be able to see worldwide so yes that's on the cards it looks like there's a worldwide show or there's something that is going to be broadcast worldwide could that be you know could it you know i'm sure many will say and it's a fair question is it going to be netflix something along those lines but we are asking about a talk show in particular i i think that they're working on something it's going to be seen worldwide and very much so there's something in the works the cards that aren't looking so positive for this uh, of course, the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So, I think... But let me say, when I say I think this is not looking good, I don't say that from a perspective of Meghan Markle doesn't want this to go ahead. I see this as Meghan Markle would like this to go ahead. However, for reasons that we are yet to find out, we'll use the word yet very carefully, that it this whole idea or pursuit has been shut down looks like it's been shut down not william says no but someone else has said no that's what i i see this is a shutdown type of a situation 
denied. That's what I see here on the cards. So interesting, very interesting cards today. Very interesting. I mean, we got we have questions here. What is it that she's working on, and what's been what's been shut down? Does she have dreams to walk in Oprah's footsteps? Before we look into that, let's find out. Just, you never know in these episodes what you could run into. You never, never know. Does Meghan Markle have dreams and desires of becoming an Oprah Winfrey-esque figure? Cards are hot. Two of Cups. The Star. <laughs> Interesting. Dream and Desire. We'll get to that in a minute. Eight of Swords. Mm. Mm. Seven of Swords. King of Pentacles. Underlying energy here, Four of Cups. There's a couple of things here. Again, we're getting these uh, bipolar energies, opposite energies, if you like. We're getting the Star and the King of Pentacles. So when it comes to Meghan Markle thinking about Oprah and dreaming about becoming an Oprah-like figure, there's a couple of things that... She really seems to enjoy about that type of thing. And that is, of course, the star and the king of pentacles. Meaning, the the star is quite, it's quite straightforward. Both pretty straightforward cards here. Someone who is regarded as a well-known figure. They are a, a, a star in, let's say, a star in Hollywood. Well-known, well-revered. Uh, all the rest of it, I know people may be choking on their tea and coffee as I say that about Oprah Winfrey, but in any event, in any event, okay, don't choke too hard because we've got more, there's more to come, all right, so we need you, we need you for the rest of the reading. In any event, the star is a desire to be, to be a celebrity, to be famous, to be all of that, all of those things, is, that's on the cards. Also, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, I mean, what, what more can I say about Oprah Winfrey than the King of Pentacles? Very, very, uh, very wealthy person. A lot and a tremendous, a tremendous amount of wealth that has been gathered through, um, through, what, uh, through, through what Oprah Winfrey has pursued. Tremendous wealth. And that's what we see here. You can see these two, two major arcana. Tremendous wealth, tremendous fame, fame and fortune is on the cards. So, speaks. I mean, is this really coming to? Is this shocking anyone in the audience? I don't think so. In fact, we're going to move away from this reading quite quickly because it's so obvious. This reading is so obvious. The fame and fortune aspect of it is so obvious. What we will cover, though, we have disappointment on the cards. We have, we have. I'm going to call this maneuvering. I see this as maneuvering on the cards. I don't think that Meghan Markle is being, uh, what's the word? I don't think people are, I want, you know what I want to say? And I'm just going to go and say it. I think that people aren't taking her seriously in Hollywood. I, I, that's what I'm seeing this on the cards and my intuition saying it to me. I'm seeing that she's having to maneuver and really work and a hustle even to get into these roles. That's what I'm seeing on the cards. Could I be wrong? Of course. Just a humble tarot reader. But I'm not seeing this as a slam dunk. I'm also not seeing this as... As a complete win for the idea of a talk show. However, the Two of Cups... The Two of Cups is interesting because this would kind of represent, you know, Oprah having people on the show and they're having an intimate... Uh, discussion with, you know, 10 million people watching. 
<laughs> Let that be known. Uh, but these cards here, not... It's not looking good. Not looking good. So there's... There's some truth to this, I think, from these cards. This is my interpretation of these cards. This it appears to be some truth. There's some truth. Let's ask a let's follow up on our first reading here. What what is Meghan Markle working on when it comes to this worldwide thingamajig? What what is that? Who is having that? Conversation. Let's find out. What is that all about? What? Someone needs to remix that song with Little John with the Oprah. Uh, the, the Oprah, you know, the famous words from Oprah. Someone needs to remix that with Oprah. I think that's going to be uh, next level. I think that's really required here. Cards are hot. What is Meghan Markle working on? What? Seven of Swords. There it is again. Working is something she's working on and it's... It's in a very roundabout way. It's in a very stealthy way. Uh, this is a project that... I don't think this project, we're going to hear about it. Mm, seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Okay. Three of Swords. Queen of Swords. Underlying Energy. Page of Pence. Yes. There's that Eight of Cups again. It looks like... I wonder if the people that were working with her have pulled out have withdrawn their interest, if you like. Well, we've certainly got delays on the project, that's for sure. Interesting. Interesting. I see this as Megan, of course. Here's Megan... Looking, she's looking ahead. She's looking forward as to what she can do here. I do. I think someone's pulled out. I I do. I think someone is. Someone is not going along with that uh, way of thinking. I do. And uh, these cards here are very suspect. Seven of Swords, Queen of Swords. Let's let's throw some let's throw something at this and let's let's throw a question here from another angle. Why did going back to our first reading, why was it shut down? Remember that Ten of Swords? So they're withdrawing, they're shutting it down, delays. Let's ask why. Why has this been shut down? Cards are hot. Two of Wands. King of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. The same Pentacles cards. The Empress. Underlying Energy. Ace of Wands. You know, I did think when I saw the King of Wands, well, is this a Prince William job? And then I was like, nah, couldn't be. And then I saw the queen, <laughs> the empress. So, <laughs> oh boy, has has this been... It just makes you wonder, what... We need to ask the question, what real power do the royal family have over them at the moment? Are we seeing influence on the cards from the royals? Because 
you know, we, there was a reading not that long ago around Netflix's influence, maybe the royal family have influenced Netflix, maybe maybe that's happened. It, it looked pretty strong, to be honest with you. It looked pretty strong. William says no. Is this what we're seeing? Is this what we're seeing on the cards? Again, we're asking the question, has this been shut down? Has it been terminated? Has William said no? Maybe. 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 If it wasn't William, it's definitely someone who is in charge here. A uh, There's a personality here that's in charge that has... Uh, that said no. And there's also this Empress card in here as well. So there's... I see two people here that have really... Uh, that have pulled the plug on this. The Empress... I mean, the Empress could be a number of people. Could it be Oprah? That's a big archetype for Oprah. Even Oprah, that's a big one. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it is Oprah. Maybe it is. But you know what it's time for? It's time to get forked. So let's let's fork it up. On the left, we'll have the... Uh, let's have the Royals shutting this down. On the right, we'll have... Let's say people in show business. Let's let's say that. Other than the royals, so left royals, right show business. Let's let's do a let's let's have a good forking. Look at that. Look at what's just fallen out. The Ten of Swords is the very topic we're talking about. <laughs> Shutting down the show. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who's shut it down? Unbelievable. Can you believe that? Oh, I find that hard to believe. Cards are hot. So, Royals versus the Celebs. Three of Swords. Here we go. Royals, Eight of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Lovers. Come out reverse, but in any event, it's the Lovers. Uh, the Nine of Swords for the Hollywood types. The Devil and the Hanged Man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do we have here? Major Arcanas for both. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm actually going to say it's not one or the other. It's both the Royals and people in Hollywood. And yes, Devil Jar, of course. Need to give it a good workout today. We need to pay our dues to the Devil Swear Jar. <coughs> and that we will. That we will. Let's pay our dues to the Devil's Swear Jar. This reading to me looks very much like both the Royals and, and people in Hollywood are, are actually not wanting this to go ahead. Very, very much so. Now, the lovers... It looks like the restrictions have come on both uh, Harry and Meghan here. It's been quite a shock to them. I think that they were getting quite set up. They were working on it. They were getting quite set up in whatever they wanted to do. Quite far into it, really. Eight of Pentacles. They were on the stage of on working on it, and it all fell apart. It all fell apart for them. So that's quite something. Whereas here, the devil and the hanged man, it looks like I think... That you know what I see with these cards, I see personality problems. I think there's a personality problem here, and I think that things are going nowhere anytime soon. Nine of Swords, uh, this is keeping people up at night, quite literally, causing a lot of problems and not, not good. I think both 
we don't, we don't often see this. We don't often see a fork where it's it's. This is a let's say a real forking. You've got both forks here that are working against it, so that's quite something. Let that be known. I think this is the first, at least on Famous Fortunes, the first fork I've seen on uh, Famous Fortunes where this has happened. Uh, quite quite a serious forking. So it looks like Harry and Meghan are quite forked. And let that be known. Questions for future videos, of course, leave them in the comments. Leave them in the comment section. Of course, do that. Of course. Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching this episode to this point. You're the best ever. should give you a thumbs up for watching. If I could give you a thumbs up, I would. Uh, but I can't, so of course I won't. But in any event, I may see you in the comment section. So get down there. Get in there. Get into the comment section. If that's what your heart desires, then so be it. If not, then thank you. And of course, I will see you in the comment section.